السلام علیکم نو وی شیل ٹاک اباؤٹ دا فریکوینٹلی آس کوشچنس اینڈ دیر آنسرس کوشچن نمبر ون کین اے پرسن ہو سائٹس دا کریما بی اے ڈس بلیور دا بریف آنسر از یس اے پرسن ہو سائٹس دا کلیما کین بی اے ڈس بلیور اٹ از اسینشیل ٹو ہیو بوتھ اے وربل ڈکلیریشن اینڈ سنسیئر ایکنالجمنٹ آف آل بلیوس تھیوریز اینڈ ایکشنس ایسوسیٹڈ ود دی کلیما In Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 208, Allah says, Translation, O believers, enter completely into Islam and do not follow in the footsteps of Satan, for he is your evolved enemy. Allah has made it mandatory to fully accept the commands he has conveyed to us through Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and to follow them. If a person recites the kalimah, but denies some fundamental aspects of faith, then he or she can still be considered a disbeliever. In Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 85, it is stated, Translation, Do you believe in part of the scripture and reject the rest? For example, if someone recites the kalima but denies or rejects acts like prayer, salat, they would still be considered as a disbeliever. due to their denial of an essential aspect of Islam. Similarly, if a person who recites the kalima denies a fundamental belief such as the finality of the prophethood or Prophet Muhammad sallam, then that said individual would also be considered as a disbeliever. Another example, if a person who recites the kalima but denies zakat as it happened during the time of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Tazala Anho, or denies the finality of the Prophet Muhammad sallam, then he or she will become a disbeliever. Qadianis deny the finality of the Prophet Muhammad sallam, disrespect Allah and the Prophet sallam, and are therefore disbelievers. Abdullah bin Abi bin Salul and other munafikeen also recited the kalma, but they remained disbelievers despite doing that. Question number two. Why Lohari Ahmadiyya group who do not consider Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani to be a prophet are considered to be disbelievers as well? While the Lohari Ahmadiyya group does not consider Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani as a prophet, they will still face the charge of disbelief kufr because they hold such beliefs that deviate from Islamic teachings. Even though they do not consider Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani as a prophet, but they still consider him as a promised Masih and Mahdi. They also accept many of Mirza Qadiani's claim, which include being Allah, to be Allah's wife, to be Allah's son, to be a prophet, to be the last prophet. All of these statements are in direct contradiction to Islamic beliefs. Since the Lahori Ahmadiyya group accepts many of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's controversial claims and believes in his status to be an Islamic personality makes them a non-Muslim community as well. In summary, it is not just a matter of whether they consider Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani to be a prophet or not, but their heretical beliefs indeed lead to their classification as disbelievers in light of Islamic teachings. Question number three. What is meant by Zilli and Baruzi prophet? The term Zilli prophet is used by the Qadiani's MD community to refer to their belief that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani had such an intense following of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam that it was as if he had become a shadow or reflection of the Prophet wasallam, and thus he also attained prophethood. Baruzi Prophet refers to the concept by which Qadianis believed that just as the Prophet Muhammad wasallam was born in Makkah and later buried in Medina is the same Muhammad who has born again in Qadian. In the form of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, the soul of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam took a second birth with the body of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. It's important to note that these beliefs are taken from the Hindus and are not Islamic beliefs.